All right, this is the wiring diagram for the Geo Metro alternator. The white red, I looked at my Geo Metro, is the one on the right. So if you're looking at the, uh, the connector on the, on the alternator, you got the one on top and then you got two um, beside it. The one on the right would be the white red, that goes to the light. The one on the left is the black white that's going to be the one I think. I'm wondering if this actually needs to be hot to cause it to excite and then send back a 14 because as you can see it goes to the regulator so I'm gonna when I hook it back up again I'm gonna find out on the tractor which one is the one that's hot um, when, the, when the switch is on and then on the GO the white green is going to be the one that goes from the uh, that sends out the current. Um, so, um, I think I was able to figure it out uh, that way. So, black and white left, white, red, right. The one on top is used for nothing. It's only a two wire system, just like the, um, just like the tractor. All right, so on this right here, we got the yellow green going up in here to the RPM gauge light here. So that might actually be a charging light. Um, so, uh, so I'm gonna put the, the yellow green. Okay, so if I'm looking here, that's the one that's nothing, the top one, let me turn the light on here. Um, that's nothing. The right is going to be the um, one for the warning lamp. And the left is going to be the one. Uh, but in this situation, they're both hot when the switch is on, so it really probably won't even make a difference. But that's the way I'm going to do it. So yellow green is going to go here, and then the white blue is going to go here. Because white blue actually goes up to the switch. Um, into the lights and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna do there and see if uh, we can get this because what has happened is this has become um, I got 13 volts out of it uh, at fast idle so the, the good results I was getting at first are not good anymore um, so we'll, we'll check it out before I change it out I got some more um, alternators but um, update on the belt situation I've been having a hard time that 40 inch that was on it was getting eaten up and it just wasn't tight anymore I barely was able to get this 39 inch on very tight so you can tell not much room it's actually no room to spare um, I got a, a 30 uh, 39.5 on the way it's not here yet but then I've got a good conditioned 40 inch and so we'll it's supposed to be a 40 inch belt, but we'll see. Um, this one is workable, but it was really, really hard to get it on. Alright, that was it. I'm going to attach the uh, my, uh, voltmeter again. I'm going to try to get it so you can see. Alright, so it is. Very good output at very low idle. Let me speed it up.
so that is uh, good to know. So um, it was working initially without these connected, but I guess um, the voltage coming in sends a, a kind of like a generator, kind of excites the alternator. I don't quite understand all that, but um, allowing the field, I guess, to be charged and then putting out the power again. Without this, at very fast idle, I was getting 13. Normal without 12.9, uh, not good enough, you know, to, to charge the battery. So, um, if you're going to do a swap out, just uh, figure, try to figure that out. Uh, and then I've got the light back up here too. Again, I'm, I'm assuming that that maybe is a charging light. I thought it had something to do with the uh, uh, the RPMs here. Now, the next thing modification I'm going to have to make is the I cannot find the the, the throttle cable anywhere. The um, the RPM cable uh, that fits this model it, it's just not available. So I'm going to have to take the old ends and try to. Oh, I'll stop this and, and stop.